Obviously a frustrating result for you, but I think you said last week you did a lot right at the end. Um, tonight, how did you think you, you, you went in those last few minutes? Uh, yeah, last couple of minutes we, we managed to get the game on our terms. I thought we were really aggressive in, and assertive towards the end, but too late, too late unfortunately. I thought we, I thought we looked slow and reactive early. Um, which put us on the back foot, and then we you know, we were scrapping right throughout that first half to stay in it. Um, credit to to Essendon, they they were sharp early, but we were off, which we'll look into. Um, so being on the back foot, you know, and scrapping through a half of footy, we we thought we could reset it at the break, but it, it wasn't to be. Um, so that's the most disappointing piece to to put a first half out like that. Sorry, does that surprise you after looking sharp last week that yeah. it came out? This week? Oh yeah, we yeah yeah it did to be honest. Um, that didn't surprise me where Essendon's level was. I thought they were, I thought they were outstanding early. Um, so that wasn't a surprise. We've seen that, you know, even the last time they played here, they didn't win the game, but they were very strong early. So we knew that was coming. Um, if you take any positive out of tonight, it was that we had a chance still at half time, considering how poorly we were playing in that first first half um, and that was off having to change some structure and which takes away your ability to score and play the game that you want to play so the game wasn't on our terms at all and um, yeah it gives you your opposition confidence as well and they start running on top of the ground so so a disappointing night really what, is it, what do you put that down to that reactive start we'll, we'll, we'll go back and have a look at the week and, and maybe what we got wrong there um, yeah, at the moment, it's a hard one to put a finger on what that is. Yeah, other than our opposition, we're giving them credit where it's due that they did look quick and fast. And our first on the loose ball gets, I think we, we went minus 15 loose ball gets early. We lost the contest, we got out tackled. So it was it was just a lot of areas that that weren't working. Um, but our backs were to the wall, and we we hung in and hung in, but. We expect so much more than that of where we're at at the moment. We expect so much more, so, yeah, disappointing. How do you explain the inside 50 count? You know, they had 27, I think, it's yeah. three-quarter time on a yeah, and that's, prior night, three, well, that, that's, for the game. Well, that's an outcome. That's an outcome off the back of getting a lot of things wrong with the process. We, you know, that is the contest that we're talking about. That's, the, you know, if you're not winning the footy, then it's going the other way. So we're just under pressure all night, and then we, we didn't... We didn't find a way to keep it in our front half. We'll get it in there. So you're not, you're not going to score many points doing that. In saying all that, we, we talk about the last five or ten minutes of the game, all of a sudden we're in we're in with the chance and with a bit of luck, maybe we fall across the line. But we, we would still be disappointed about the way we played the game tonight, even if it went our way. You said a bit of luck. Did you think you should have had a holding the ball decision? Oh, no. There, sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I'm... I meant um, there are a number of different opportunities that I don't know how many times we went in in a row, but we, we found our aggression and our assertiveness and you know where had that been for the night? That's what was the most well, and another disappointing part of sitting around. Where has that been? Um, we, we understand too at that stage the opposition may shut down a little as well, so the game changes. But yeah, we had some chances. What did you make of the non-call at the end then? I'm not going to make a comment around umpiring. That'll just add to the night. In, t in terms of um, where it leaves you, one and five, long way back from here. Yeah, yeah, our, our record's not not where we want it. Um, and unfortunately, our game wasn't tonight either. So we, we took a step back tonight. We, th we felt like the last two weeks, yeah, we took a couple of big steps forward. V Melbourne and, and then V Carlton and, and we felt like we are in a good space but tonight unfortunately was a, was a step backwards um, that's that's the bigger issue for us is is we want to hold that momentum of, of form, we want to you know play a game that we walk off and be proud of tonight, I think we're all a bit disappointed in what we put out there. You seem to keep the players in there a, a little while tonight what was the, the main message post game going forward? Oh, it was similar to what I'm, I'm saying to you, we you know, we don't. We chat openly with each other about what what we found 
um, didn't work and what did work and you know we try to get most of that out you've got to be careful straight after a game when there's emotion involved and but we, we do like to open up a fair bit so there was just it was just a chance for the guys to talk and um, you know, speak about how we, we stick to what we know we're good at and um, yeah a fair bit of stuff went back and forth which is good in terms of silver linings your captain's uh, pretty inspiring in that second quarter to keep you in it when it looked like going away and, and clearly back in form after um, the way he played tonight yeah he's yeah he's a warrior he's always going to step up and fight for us um and he tried to do that tonight. I thought he impacted the game you know, at, at crucial times. Again, we, we'd get over the line. We're, we're probably talking a lot deeper about that and what he was able to do. But unfortunately, the, you know, one kick can often change a change room. I mentioned it last week. We, we came in with knocking one through at the end. This week, we didn't do it. Um, last week, we played a much more complete brand of footy as a team. This week, we didn't. And we would have stolen one if we if we had have got it. So, But, but Dorse was... Was stepped up as a captain tonight. Jake Saligo in the third quarter, he had a crack there as well. He was probably your best yeah. player in the third quarter, possibly yeah. four quarters. Yeah, continuing his form. You know, he's 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 confident at the moment. He's playing, you know, really strong footy. He's still got so much upside, so it's pleasing to see he's still battling away, and um, you know, he can hold his head up. And Isaac, after last week, probably had a bit of a downer this week, particularly in the first half. Had did a bit in the fourth quarter with the goal, but is it just one of those growing pains for him that he's, you know, he might have some ups and downs when you put him in the middle? Yeah, I think we want to be careful about picking out too many individuals, um, especially when it's, you know, players oh, didn't have much of an impact on the game. I thought, you know, we're not, we didn't do ourselves many favours tonight, um, which made it hard for some players to get themselves into the game um, at different times. We, we tried a number of different things. That, that was the... It's one of the issues when you get behind early and your back's against the wall and you're scrapping, you, you find you change more than you'd like to. And sometimes that can affect, you know, different individuals. So I'm, I'm mindful of, of how we look at form there. Uh, you can tell, though, when a player really puts his head over it and stands up like our captain did tonight. And, and as you mentioned, Solly, but I don't want to point too many fingers because it's, it's a team thing that we, we got wrong tonight. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.